Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got Matthew 1128. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Um, comfort, rest, peace. Yeah, that's all I need. So, um, all right. This week has been a really weird week. Um, a lot going on, but a lot of nothings. So, uh, I, let's see here. Nothing off the hook. I did, um, well, we'll start with crochet. I did decide to frog the shawl that I was doing. Um, I just didn't like the, I want more of a scarf than a shawl. And it had so many holes and I wasn't liking the way it was working up. It was cute on somebody else, but not on me. So I frogged it because honestly, I probably won't go back to it. And I'll probably make something different with this yarn. Um, secondly, I have thought about, I just got that one blanket with the fringe on and the, or the two rounds on. And then I've got the crisscross and that crossbody pouch, which I have put down and it's in timeout. Okay. The straps aren't coming up even. I don't know. I'm not very happy with it. So this is my last kit that I got from uh, Mary Magnum Maxim. Mary Maxim. And it is supposed to make this blanket. I am not going to make this blanket. Um, I am going to do something different with this. Now, I haven't decided if I really call, but the gray and the yellow are not colors that I wear, but I would if I made this one thing. And let me see if I can pull it up. And it is a free pattern that I found on the internet. Um, let me get to it. Yeah. Crochet sweater scarf. And it is that right there. Um, let me see if I can. So it's basically sleeves and it wraps around you. Um, I'm trying to look to see if there's a picture. I think those are the only two pictures of her wearing it. And I don't want to veer off of my, uh, so this is crochet with Carrie, C A R R I E and it's crochet sweater scarf. And it's basically a scarf that can wrap around you twice with sleeves. And I really like that because at work I could definitely use that over my shoulders. Um, yeah, I'm all about it. Is gray and yellow my jam, my color? Not really, but you know, for work clothes, it would probably go with anything. And I'm thinking I could actually wear like just a shirt like this and then put it over it. Uh, because all you're going to see is the bottom. So I could wear just about any of my shirts and put this over it. Just position the arms up high enough. So now the one thing I am going to say is this is 1500 yards. Each skein is 557 yards. It is not like the template she did. So I would, and I only have one gray, two yellows. Yes. I've given this some thought. I'm going to start with the yellow and then do gray stripes, yellow and gray up the arms and then have the yellow of the body. And I'm going to do it as holding two yarns at the same time. So when I do the rows of the gray, I'm literally going to pull this out and I am going to skein it off 
into at least 250 yards um, and then go from there so that I know when to stop with the uh, stripes. But I'll take that and I'll split it into two center pull balls and then use the outside and the inside for crocheting. And I'll just use up all the gray and it'll have yellow, gray, yellow, gray. Um, and then of course the yellow bodice around. And we'll see how it comes out. Here, worst case scenario, I get to practice and then give it away. Yeah. And then make myself one that I really want. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, the one thing is, is that she three or four balls what did it say on that pattern I think it was three balls of 252 it was a 10 ply so of course it was probably a little bit thicker um approximately three balls uh, of she used lion heart Lion Brand Heartland, and it's a four weight 10 ply, uh, 252 yards per ball, and she used three balls. And yes, I've already done the math. Um, now it says that the crochet that the yarn weight is a four slash 10 ply now this right here is a three so it's not much difference i don't know if you can see that or not um but it's, it says it's a light three well it's probably only a two ply or a three ply um i don't know how many plies it is see here seven ounce acrylic I'm gonna say it's probably a two ply <coughs> because I'm not seeing you know that being said so uh, but I figure I hold it together um it will make it thick enough so even if I don't like it yellow and gray I will give it away and then um, go from there but the thing that I want to get done is that crisscross um, sweater and like I said I'm not worried about that pop that crossbody anymore so I've got to get the sweater done and I want to get the two rounds on that blanket and get it put away um and then uh i moved on to sewing um i didn't get a whole lot done i did fight with that strap on that uh cross body and that's why i put it away i was like i i'm done fighting with this have you ever fought with something so much you just need to walk away and come back on with a clear head so that's what i've done um, I did one, two, three, four and a half of the pillows. These are wrong side out. I still have to weave in the ends, which I just do with just a needle and right up there. And then, uh, I've got one more up there to do that's already cut out. I don't know if you can see it right there. Mm -hmm. and then there's one that's a totally different size. And I have that one to do. So once I get the next weekend, I think I'm going to get them done and out of here. Um, I'm really over them. <laughs> and that also gets everything else out of the house. Um, that was there. If RJ came and picked up his shirt on Friday, so... 
um, who did that. That's all gone. That is all I have left that is somebody else's. Now, word of advice. Just so the lady that gave me the shirt, okay, she came in and, and was like, are, are you done yet? You know, thinking she's the only one I ever sew for. And so I went ahead, did it, and got it out of the way, went to call her. And the phone number that she left me is disconnected. Just saying. So now her shirt is in my office desk. Now, when I get these pillows done and I take those pillows up to the lady that hasn't, she is actually friends with that other lady. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to drop it all off with her and be done because I'm pretty sure that that's why that lady came back to double check on whether it was done or not because her phone was disconnected. Yeah, that's not cool. I don't mind if you give me a message phone or, you know, just give me an alternate way to get a hold of you, but just expecting it done and then cutting me off. I'm not up for that. So, yeah, not going there. Anyway, it's made me mad. It's up in my desk, and I'm going to get these done and then take it all to the lady who gave me the pillows because she is friends with her and get it done. I also know that that means that she will use that as an excuse not to stop by my desk anymore and there will probably be no payment for any of it because if one gets away with it, the others will. And I don't have set prices and I just do it for fun, which I get. Um, but I normally tell people to pay me what it's worth to you. And you know, if it's worth five, $10, fine. That goes to my supplies, my thread. Um, I do ask that they give me back what I've put into it at the very minimal. Um, yeah. Now, to be honest with you, it don't, it took me less than, I think the material was two bucks and it was 99 cents for the thing. So we're talking three or $4 to get that other shirt fixed. That's not the point to give me a disconnected phone number, knowing that I know that the other person is your friend and that, you know, she can get a hold of you. Um, just isn't right. Just didn't. I'm not even going to go there. Yes. I've had this happen before. And yes, I know I'm probably not going to get paid and I probably won't get paid for the seven pillows or the shirt because once one gets away with it, the others feel like you don't have to especially when you don't have set prices and you're not doing this as a business. Um, getting paid for a favor kind of thing. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. Is what it is. Um, lesson learned. Next time I'm going to say, yeah, but it's going to be $20 to fix that shirt. I cover my cost and my time, right? And I might not be able to say no, but I definitely can say 10 bucks. So anyway, that's enough of my rant. Um, this weekend I also made jelly. Um, I might have to do a second cook on it. I'm not sure. It still seems a little runny, but I haven't hit the 48 hour mark. So, you know, they say to let it sit a couple of days before you panic. So I might be recooking. Um, I made orange and cherry. So if I have to recook, I'll know tonight and then I'll just pick up the pectin and I can do it tomorrow evening and recook it. Cause I don't have to do the whole thing. I just have to, um, get some pectin and, and, you know, get it thicker. Cook it for a little bit longer, I guess. But anyway, and then re-steal it. All of them sealed. 
it just didn't, yeah, just didn't set up. So we'll see how it goes. Um, so generally RJ came by on Friday night. We'd gone out to eat. He went to a rodeo. He was on his way back. And so he stopped by, got his shirt. Um, we yacked for a little bit. Uh, the kids and I have found a good gift where instead of doing a bunch of stuff that no one wants or whatever, I'm doing the kids, of course. I'm doing the pajamas and all of that stuff and the toys and just kind of adult toys, but hey. Then I was, we were looking for something really nice for, um, roommate and roommate loves charcoal, you know, just, um, of course this isn't coming up. There it is. So I found this. Trying to get the picture. Oop. I don't know if you can see that. It is a table. It is a rotisserie. Um, it has a rotisserie top. You can see it. My phone is not acting right. I don't know why. There. So there's that picture. Now, it also, you can do the, uh, you can put ice in it and drinks in it in the summer if, when you're not using it. And then, of course, it can just be the round edge table type thing. Take down the skewer and put something over it so that you could actually use it as a table. So, I'm okay with that. Um, it is what it is, and, uh, but I like the thought of, um, using it, you know, outside in a fall day, and maybe making s'mores around it, or, you know, so, anyway, found that, got it ordered, RJ's in charge of, um, we know how much each person is paying. Uh, I have not collected money yet. I'm so horrible with, with collecting. The pillows, the shirt, my own children. No. RJ will give it to me when he has it. Tori said she has to budget um, because her other half isn't working right now. So they will give it to me eventually. It doesn't mean I'll get it before Christmas. But it wasn't all that much. Um, it was like 50 bucks a person. So, and that included um, shipping and handling. So, uh, I did buy one that was a little, I found one on Amazon that was cheaper. Okay. It was like a hundred dollars, but all the reviews said that they came dented, dinged, and the shipper didn't, um, replace parts and didn't, it didn't, they just didn't stand behind what they uh, their product, and so they couldn't, uh, one lady said it had two dings in it, and she showed them, and they're pretty substantial, it doesn't look as nice, and, um, they offered her a $20 refund, so a lot of them said that the bricks were broke, and blah, 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 so this one I got from someplace else, where everything that had happened in the mail was made up for by that company, so uh, paid a little bit more, but that's okay. So, um, it should come to the farm and then RJ's going to, uh, keep it there at the farm because the box is going to be big and I don't have a way to hide it. So, um, yeah, roommate is not going to have a clue. Um, roommate's not going to have a clue that roommates getting anything. So, yay! Yay me! Alright, I think that's really all I've done this weekend. I did the, I did make some cookies and just kind of spent some time in the kitchen. Didn't do anything but try and get everybody else's stuff out of here and 
yeah, I think that's about it. I'm just rambling, so we're going to shut this down and call it a day. <laughs> um, hopefully next week you'll have some progress to see. Maybe I'll have the pillows out of here, and then I'll get to work on things that I want to work on. And I do have a plan there, um, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, I will talk to you all later. Have a great week, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.